English 079, let's take a quick look at what we're doing. Uh, in comp one, you've got a lot of stuff going on. Nothing is physically due in comp one this week. Although you should be doing a lot of things. There's a lot of readings to do. There's a lot of stuff going on. And two of those readings are the two readings that you will summarize. And that's really the focus this week in English 079. That's really all we're gonna be working on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And here in the English 079 uh, Blackboard page, if you go to content, um, well, you know what, let's just take a look at the, um, at the syllabus just to get an idea. But really the only things you're gonna be doing this week will be working on the reading guides for those two readings and getting those handed in. So let's see here, all right, where is that? Here we are, week number nine. I know it looks a little jumbled here, but it, in all reality, it's very simple. You're gonna read reading number six, and you're gonna do the critical reading activity for reading number six. Same thing with reading you know, number five. So both readings, okay? So by the end of this week, by Friday at midnight, you should have both of the articles read, and then you should have both of your critical reading guides done for both articles and you should hand those in, have those handed in by the end of the week. And that's literally, that's it. Other than of course you have journal number eight, uh, just like every week we have a journal, you guys are doing great in those. Uh, make sure to get all of that done this week. That's really the only focus that I have for you this week. I do want to really quickly though, I want to just give you a reminder that if you have not already done any of your uh, campus engagement projects. Remember, you only have to do two. Uh, most of these classes that I've taught, whenever we don't have the COVID scare, um, we have to do five. So you're really getting off very lucky this semester. And most of these things can be on uh, line. You can do them all online. And this semester, I'm also offering you the ability, if you just do two tutoring sessions, that will count as both of your campus engagement. But if you take a look at these campus engagement, you have to hand them in in this folder in your 079. And then they, I do give you, and I, you know, this, these are options you can do. There's a bunch of career workshops um, this semester that you can go to. Now, these are all different. If you notice the back in September, it was jumpstart your college career, uh, resume. And then in October, we've already had, are you interview ready? Um, and then we're going to have how to network at a career fair. That's coming up October 21st and 22nd. Again, I, if I were you guys, you know, this is something I always try to put myself in the shoes of, of my students. Um, this is a great opportunity for you to take a look at these, but also if, if for some reason you, you just haven't made it to any of these, you can just go get tutoring and it doesn't have to be over specifically English. Although, hey, I would love it if you get some tutoring over English, the better you get at writing, the, the better product that you provide me to grade with, hey, I'm always happy whenever I get a great paper. Uh, it's, it's studies have shown that the best students, people who get the best grades are the people that go to tutoring all the time. And it's not like, I, I always, I, I think a lot of people think that uh, if you go to tutoring, it's because you're just awful at something. Well, it, you know, yeah, if you're, if you need help, you go to a tutor, but also people who do really well already, a lot of times they go to tutors anyway, just because they want to do even better. So go to the tutor. And then again, you'll, you'll hand in, there's two of them, campus um, number one and number two, campus and reflection. Again, you're just gonna write one paragraph to summarize what happened, right? So if it was tutoring, talk about, hey, these are the things that we, we covered in my tutoring session. My tutor's name was this. I went to the tutoring online or I went in person, however that works. And then a second paragraph describing your reaction. So I found this really helpful. I, I, there's no way I could have caught all these mistakes if I hadn't gone to the tutor or I was completely reading the, the, the uh, assignment wrong or anything like that. You know, there's a, just basically give me your opinion on the session, whether it's tutoring or whether it's one of these things as well. Um, so a lot of you guys have already handed these things in. I just wanted to give you a reminder now that we're getting on the second half of the semester. It's already week nine of 16. So we are really plowing through this semester and it's gonna be over before you know it, especially with the holidays coming up, finals weeks. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are, it's gonna speed up, okay? So the second half is always faster than the first half and it's always more busy. So really prepare for this. 
Um, the nice thing about taking English Show 7-9 is that this is giving you three credit hours that you would normally have to devote to a completely different topic. So you're, the nice thing is comp one or your composition English, right, is six credit hours out of how many ever credit hours you're taking. And then the English 079, hopefully you can see that it's really, the nice thing is you're not switching to some other topic like history or math. You're still thinking about the, the comp one assignments in this class. And yeah, we are doing some extra work that will relate to getting the comp one stuff done, but it's all in the mode of, hey, we're getting a great grade in comp one, we're gonna pass, we're gonna do well. Okay, so just as a quick reminder, just going back to the syllabus uh, for this week, again, you're gonna do the critical reading guides for both of the assigned readings. So go to comp one. Um, if you go to the comp one blackboard, you can find out what those readings are. Um, I, I already, if you took a look at the comp one video already, you've seen what those videos are, but just real quick, I'll, I'll just show you how to find them. If you go to the syllabus slash schedule in comp one, and you take a look at that. Let's see here, I'm just gonna scroll down. Let's see. To week number nine and, oh, wait a minute, week number eight, cause I did assign it last week. Um, so it's two ways a woman can get hurt and why bother. These are both in your textbook. Just look at the, the table of contents at the beginning of your inquiry textbook and you'll get those. The other thing is, of course, next week we'll be doing, in, in this class, in English 079, we'll be doing peer review for your summaries. So next week, you're going to need to have those summaries done. So yeah, by the end of this week, you need to have your, um, your, your guides. But if you take a look at next week in English 079, let's see, next week in week 10, we are, we are going to have the peer review. So that means by Wednesday of next week, you're going to need to upload your summaries of both of those writings or, or both those articles. And then by Friday of next week, you will have had to have um, peer reviewed your, your um, partners or other classmates um, summaries. So this is all in the process. And again, really you're gonna have to be very familiar with these, these articles or at least one of the two articles um, in order to write your essay three. So we're really, it's all going into that same basic direction. Uh, just a real quick thing, as you're looking forward to writing those summaries, um, go to the homework and assignments in comp one, and you'll find in the SA3 project folder, again, I showed you this in the, in the comp one video for the week, but I do give you the works cited entries in the comp one folder, and all you have to do is just copy and paste those into your summaries, and boom, you're done. And then, of course, at the end of those summaries, you're going to need the page range. Look at that those page ranges are already in the citations for you. All you have to do is plug them in to the very end. And, but, but you know, that is stuff that we're looking forward to next week. This week specifically, make sure you're doing your readings and everything in comp one, really work hard on the comp one stuff. And then on the English 079 side, make sure you're doing those reading guides to prepare you to have those summaries done and ready for peer review next week on Wednesday. Okay, guys, so that is that is what we're doing. We're doing the, the reading guides for both of the, the assigned readings, and we're doing the journal entry. That's all that you have to have handed in by the end of this week to English 079. And again, in comp one, we're really doing a lot of the, the early work. We're getting really ready. And the nice thing is, if by doing these reading guides, you're going to get an in-depth at least you'll, you'll be forced to look critically at both of these readings, and that should help you decide which one of the readings you're going to choose to do the rhetorical analysis over. So you've got a lot of work to do, a lot of thinking to do for comp one. That's really the big thing. This in 079 is helping you get that, that critical thinking on, and, uh, and the, the whole goal is to, to give you a better opportunity, a better chance at, at writing a better essay. Guys, I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. If you have any questions, remember that you can reach out to me. My office hours are, are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Also on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually I am in my virtual office as well. That's the, during the two o'clock hour in the afternoon. If there are some times whenever I can't make it to that, but always make sure to email me if you really, really, really want to make sure I'm there. 
But hey, if it's two o'clock or if it's eight o'clock on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you want to just check in to see if I'm available, just go to the faculty tab. Let me show you that faculty tab real quick. Let's see, I'll show the screen again. If you go to the faculty tab in either comp one or in English 079, it's the same, it's the same thing. Uh, let's see, faculty. You go here and then you just can copy and paste this um, to your browser and it'll go to my office hour. I'm literally sitting there all day Mondays every day. And then during my regular office hours, I'm there as well. So guys, um, I'm here to help and uh, I appreciate your hard work. Keep working hard and get started on the work for this week because there's a lot of it and it's not going to stop till we're done with the semester. Guys, have a great week.